Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. I'm terribly sorry I haven't posted in such a long time. I just haven't really been editing and I've been doing other things. Enjoy these few clips and today we're doing a Pilot Slimes review and I got some of their major bestsellers and they're amazing. Sorry about that uh, quick cut but this is Oreo Crumbs and this is a Lava Rock Slime and this is actually a really amazing texture. I find that it gets better after you, you let it sit because it becomes slightly more stretchy. And it is sort of hard to get out of the container, but that's not a super big deal. This is super crunchy, as you can hear. Maybe. Um, but the only problem I had with this slime is it wasn't super stretchy the first day. And as I said, it gets better. The scent is probably what most people prefer as an oreo scent it's not my personal favorite but again scents are subjective This is Blackberry Icy, and this one is probably my favorite one. This is probably one of the best icy textures I've ever felt. It's super sizzly, it's soft, and it smells delicious. This smells really good. This is also a really pretty color. I didn't have the best lighting at the time, but like in sunlight and stuff, it looks even better. This makes crackles, sizzles. It sounds really nice. Uh, it is a wet icy, which isn't that big of a deal and it doesn't really leave that much residue uh only like after a day of it sitting it has just the residue at the start This is Dean's French Onion Dip, and I have to say, this is a very thick slime. Probably one of the thickest I've ever felt, but it's also stretchy, and it makes great bubble pops. It's scented, I believe, like sour cream. I don't entirely remember, but it smells pretty good. And this slime inflates a lot, considering it's a thick and glossy, and it makes amazing bubble pops. That's really all I have to say for this one. This is cinnamon butter. This is a butter slime, and the first thing I have to say is I was expecting the scent to be sweeter, but it was actually 
more savory cinnamon type smell uh which isn't necessarily a bad thing I just expected it to be a different way um it's not my favorite scent but again scent is subjective uh this texture is super creamy and spreadable and it makes great sizzles it does get tacky when inflated which is sort of annoying but it's not that good of a deal you can just coat your hands with activator and such This is Planet Drew, and I have to say, this is probably the prettiest slime I've ever seen. It's really, the pigment is gorgeous, and it shifts from a blue purplish color, and it looks really good in sunlight, and you can see it's gorgeous here. It's also an amazing texture. It makes great bubble pops, and the hollow glitter really shines out too. It's really pretty, and... It inflates a lot too. It's super crackly and fun to play with. Uh, it is a very thick clear slime, which is pretty nice because it wouldn't have to be coated. And it's just honestly gorgeous. This is Nebula. This slime is also very pretty. It doesn't shift as much as Planet Drool and it sort of stays between an orange and a pinkish color, uh, which is very pretty too. Now this one had red flakes, which I don't remember seeing in uh, the listings and on videos. This one had a weird center where like part of it was activated and another part was sticky which it mixed fine and then it turned back to normal and i believe this one was the only one that didn't really smell like it had a scent planet drool scent was also very good i forgot to mention that um this one you, i think the base was clear too it wasn't dyed a specific color but um it still made great crackles and everything, and it was very pretty with the flash on.
Now, last slime here is Northern Lights. I think this one is probably their most popular out of these three. And this one is very pretty. For me, I could only really get a green shift out of it. I've seen more, like, in her videos. Uh, but it's, uh, like, a green-yellow, and it's very pretty, too. Uh, the hollow glitter adds as well. This one, I forget what the scent was. It also smelled pretty good. And this one had the same texture as the other two. Honestly, they make great bubble pops and is pretty stretchy for how thick they are. And they're just fun to play with, to admire too. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all later. I hope to post more maybe. Um, I'm just not very consistent at editing and filming. So see y'all later.